The sign of machine foundation is uh, always considered as a special design because we are required to restrict the amplitudes in terms of uh, microns. And also, if there is a failure of the foundation, it can damage the costly equipment uh, as well as there can be substantial financial losses because it may affect uh, performance of the plant as well. So in this uh, entire course, uh, we will learn together step-by-step -step approach for the design of the uh, machine foundations. And we'll also talk about a very important uh, area, which is do's and don'ts for the software application uh, while performing detailed dynamic analysis. And we'll be using software state pro uh, throughout this course. We'll start our first uh, session with the fundamentals of structural uh, dynamics because that is essential when we are designing uh, the machine foundation. We'll talk about uh, single degree of freedom, uh, importance of single degree of freedom in structural dynamics, time period, modeling of uh, STOF in STED Pro, understanding of free vibration, forced vibration, natural frequency versus forcing frequency, etc. So what we'll be doing uh, uh, in this session that we'll be demonstrating these concepts along with uh, the applications in, in STED Pro. So we'll be creating a sample model or study models in STED Pro and then we will demonstrate all these concepts along with the uh, mathematics so that the concepts will become absolute, absolutely clear when you are uh, applying this in the real projects. We'll continue in the next session uh, the fundamentals of structural dynamics uh, related to multi-degree of freedom, mode shapes, uh, then uh, phase angle. What is phase angle for the machine foundation? Uh, resonance is a very important area for the machine foundation. Then whenever we are talking about uh, response of the machine foundation, it is always divided, in, uh, divided in two categories. One is the transient response and another is the steady state response. So we'll try to understand what's the difference between these two and how we can interpret this results from the software. And also we'll understand under damped system, over damped systems, uh, and all this again, we will uh, try to understand along with the study models and, and the mathematics involved in the structural dynamics. Then we'll talk about step-by-step -step approach for design of uh, machine foundations. We'll also uh, talk about uh, different types of machines like uh, rotary machines and uh, reciprocating machines. What are general input which we require uh, from the uh, manufacturer? What is unbalanced uh, dynamic loads? Uh, and how these uh, loads are, are generated from different kind of equipment, which is rotary and reciprocating equipment. What are the permissible amplitudes for design of uh, machine uh, foundations? There is term called single amplitude and, and let's say peak amplitude or double amplitude. So that's very important term which we will, we will discuss. And what are, the, what are the different types of foundations? And most importantly, we will start or we'll end this session with the preliminary sizing criteria. In the next section, we'll be talking about uh, modeling in STED Pro for the uh, machine foundation. So we'll be using 3D solid elements for modeling block foundation as well as tabletop foundation. So we'll try to understand uh, the, uh, the 3D solid elements in the uh, STED Pro. Okay, then importance of ge geotechnical parameters in the design of machine foundations because soil dynamics is extremely important when we are dealing with the machine foundations. So uh, we, we will discuss very important aspects related to soil dynamics. We will derive uh, the soil spring values uh, based on dynamic shear modulus which is uh, the soil uh, spring values in the vertical and lateral directions of the foundations. And also we'll talk about the spring values for the pile foundation. In the next session, we'll be talking about uh, discussion on important clauses of uh, IS 2974 part one. So 2974 part one uh, refers to the reciprocating equipment. So we'll be talking about important clauses of uh, the design standard for reciprocating equipment foundation. In the next session, we will uh, model actual reciprocating equipment foundation in STED Pro using uh, 3D solid elements. 
we'll also calculate the spring values and then we'll apply it uh, in the state and after uh, applying all different inputs we'll perform detailed dynamic analysis and thereafter we will uh, try to uh, try to see that what are the impact which is uh, which is observed while uh, we change a different input uh, in the uh, in the foundation or let's say in the software in the next session we will create uh, one more module uh, in the state pro uh, for the reciprocating equipment foundation it is again block foundation using uh, 3d solid elements and we'll perform uh, exactly same exercise what we did in the previous session but the but for the different equipment in the next session we'll be talking about important provisions for uh, the design of machine foundations as per is 297 for part 4 uh, which is specifically for rotary equipment having uh, low frequency or or let's say for the low speed machines in the next session we will create uh, one of the equipment foundation in the stead pro uh, having let's say low speed or or let's say low frequency so we'll apply all unbalanced dynamic loads we'll perform detailed uh, dynamic analysis uh, and then we will interpret different results and then we will try to change different parameters and to see the impact which it's uh, which it is making uh, in on the results and the next session we'll be talking about uh, important clauses of uh, is 2974 part 3 which is specifically for the uh, rotary equipment uh, having medium or high speed uh, rotating machines. So certain parameter like uh, data which are to be provided by the machine manufacturer, sizing of the top deck, sizing of the column, post vibration analysis, static design, etc. In the next session, we will uh, create a uh, tabletop foundation using 3D solid uh, elements. We'll apply a spring uh, to simulate the effect of soil. In the next session, we will uh, talk about uh, comparison of tabletop foundation with different options. So modeling of uh, uh, top slab with the plate elements or, and the column with the frame elements. This is one of the option uh, as against, let's say, if we do not want to use the solid elements, then what differences it will make on the results and, and which is the correct approach that we will discuss it in detail. Then model with or without base slab for the uh, tabletop foundation. Support condition, uh, we can consider either fixed or we should go for the actual spring values that we will discuss and we'll see the, the differences it makes on the results. And then consideration of soil mass, etc. In the next session, we'll be taking up uh, uh, queries from the participants. Then discussion related to the queries if, uh, if they have uh, for the ongoing projects, then concluding remarks, way forward, etc. So looking forward to see you online in this uh, in this course uh, link for registration is mentioned below on the screen thank you